When World War I began in 1914, man-made powered flight was still in its infancy, with the Wright brothers' infamous flight at Kitty Hawk taking place only 11 years before the start of the war. From a technology in its infancy, powered flight and dominance in the air quickly became an important part of the theaters of the First World War. The air was one of the most brutal theaters of the war, with aces quickly making a name for themselves, although most did not live long enough to enjoy it. Today we look at the story of the only Indian ace of the First World War, a diminutive teenager named Indra Lal Roy, who made a name for himself as a talented pilot. Indra Lal Roy was born on 2nd December 1898 in Calcutta to an influential and distinguished family. His father Pierre Lal Roy was a barrister and also the director of public prosecutions in Calcutta. Indra's elder brother Paresh Lal Roy has been called by some to be the father of Indian boxing. The family had moved to London in 1901 and heard the news of the first world war breaking out from their home in London. Indra who was nicknamed Laddie was studying in the St Paul School for Boys in London at the time. While his brother was one of the top boxers in the school, young Indra played rugby and was captain of the swimming team. Indra followed his older brother Poresh into the army. While his older brother became the first Indian to join the Honorable Artillery Company, Indra's dream had always been to soar through the skies. In April 1917, 5 months after he turned 18, he signed up for the Royal Flying Corps. His application was initially rejected for defective eyesight, but he managed to get a second opinion from a leading specialist. To pay for the second opinion, he sold his motorbike to raise the funds. It worked, and he managed to pass the test, and the decision by the RFC was overturned. By July, he was a cadet and was assigned to the number no. 56 squadron, quickly becoming a popular figure among his fellow pilots. An incident in December saw Indra's plane shot down and him being left for dead. Shrabani Basu described the incident in her book For King and Another Country Indian Soldiers on the Western Front. Laddie's plane was shot down by a German fighter and crashed in no man's land. He was taken to the local hospital where he was left for dead. But the young Bengali regained consciousness, banged on the door of the morgue and woke up the terrified hospital staff, calling out in his schoolboy French. He was immediately sent back to Britain for treatment. As he recovered back in England, He was initially declared unfit to fly but the young man kept pestering his officers until they relented. He passed his medical in June 1918 and joined the number no. 40 squadron. He shot down his first German aircraft a few weeks later on July 6, 1918. Over the next 2 weeks, he shot down another 9 German aircrafts, going on to become India's first flying ace of World War 1. On July 22, 1918, Indra was flying a sortie when he was cornered by four German aircrafts. Despite the overwhelming odds, the young man went on the attack, dodging machine gun fire and took down two of the German planes in quick succession. As he shot down the second plane, his plane took machine gun fire, quickly bursting into flames before going down in enemy territory. Indra Lal Roy, India's first and only flying ace from World War 1, died at the tender age of 19. He was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross 3 days after his death. In a letter to his heartbroken mother, Indra Lal Roy's commanding officer wrote, "He went up on a patrol with three other fellows, and they met four German aircrafts. Two of these were seen to fall, and one of our own, which was the machine your son was flying." From the time he came to the squadron his one aim of life was to shoot down the Huns and through his skill as a pilot and a wonderful dash he succeeded in bringing down nine enemy machines for the time he was here that is a wonderfully fine record i am sure he was very happy here he was admired by all men and officers in the squadron and was very popular in the mess I'm sure he will be rewarded for the brave deeds he had done.
Thanks for joining us on the History of India show. The main source for today's episode was the book For King and Another Country by Shrabani Basu. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video so we can bring you a lot more in the future. Thank you for watching.